All right, food fam, I'm not even gonna hold you. Let's get right into this chicken sandwich, right? And y'all see, I didn't stop at the chicken sandwich. I did my inner fat boy and got the chicken sandwich with chicken wings. But hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me bust this thing out. Let's bust this thing out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This thing smelled dumb good. Hold on, hold on. Let's flip it upside down. Let's open up, you know what I'm saying, the diaper on this joint. Oh, sniggly. What? Oh, oh, shoot. What? This joint right here, stupid saucy. Oh, my goodness. Let me put this thing up. King Hawaiian bun. Okay. Wild chicken tongue. Sticking out on the side, echo pickle and buffalo sauce. This thing right here just says trouble, trouble. And I'm trying to get in trouble, you know me. I was the one that the teacher was always sending to the principal office when I was in school. Third grade, I lived inside the principal's office. I was a thug. <laughs> What's going on, people? You know what time it is, man. Over here at Fat Burger, got a little crazy. Noah, get in on them vegan shakes, kid. Cause you know I'm gonna order that too, right there, family. All right. And show you already ordered. You good? You already ordered. You ordered done. All right, bet. No, we're gonna definitely get that King's Hawaiian chicken sandwich. King's Hawaiian. I need that King's Hawaiian chicken sandwich without the fried avocado. I don't need no avocado in there. No. You got pickles. You can put pickles in there. With the fried avocado, we can leave that. Yes, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, definitely gotta do a vanilla vegan shake. Do you want a sheet on that? No. 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 I'm just. I'm not really curious, but I'm curious. Um, and bone in. We're gonna do small wings. And oh. No, you said you had the wings before. What Wings flavor? are... What flavor? Whew. Do we do a lemon, lemon I, pepper? I'd go hot. I'd go hot or lemon pepper. Lemon pepper? Lemon pepper Let's do lemon pepper. Lemon pepper it is. And then I'm going to need a, like, a large Sprite. It's a Sprite. It's a Sprite. Hmm? Okay, beautiful. All right. The only thing I'm nervous about, Noah, is the vegan shit. It's how prices are worth it because it's fat burger. If it was 32 or 6 at any now I had to leave. The quality ain't $32 worthy. You're probably wondering why I'm hitting you with the super official voiceover. Well, because there was music playing. And, you know, I'm not trying to get hit with those YouTube copyrights. But I'm over here taking a look at this vegan shake. I'm perplexed. I don't really understand what's truly going on. And I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into. But they said it was vanilla, y'all. It doesn't look vanilla to me. But then again, it's a vegan milkshake. So... I was struggling when I was trying to get the straw inside the vegan milkshake. I was getting mad pushback. You know, like when you get a COVID test and they push that Q-tip up to your brain? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was like trying to get this straw up off in the vegan milkshake. It was that thick, but it was also that hard too. Kind of threw me off. But I wanted to go ahead and just beat it up anyway for my vegan community. So I'm going to sit back, relax, and get this hit. Slurp, 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 slurp. I say slurp, 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 slurp. Pause. Slurp, 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 slurp. It was at this very moment that I probably should have never got the vegan milkshake at all. Um, I'm not built for this life. I love my vegan community, my, my vegetarians out there, but me personally, nah, baby. I can't have a milkshake that honestly does not taste like a milkshake. And that's exactly what I'm sitting on in my hand. And I'm getting like a whole different vibe off of this milkshake, family. And you say, damn, a whole different vibe. What are you talking about? Well, let me beat you in the head. It does not taste like vanilla whatsoever. It, it tastes more like toffee and, and I'm getting a little bit of dirt, sand, grime, thyme, grass, grass roots. Like I'm getting everything of the all natural element that earth has to provide, basically. You're like, you know, air, water, attitude. That's what I'm getting inside of this drink and for some reason they called it a milkshake i can't do this i won't do this let's get on to this review you can go ahead and keep a little funky behind vegan milkshake 
Shout out again to the vegans out there doing their one-two thing. Fat Burger. Let me know, Fat Burger. Is this a cry for help? Did they say that you needed to get something vegan on the menu? You just give them some vegan burgers, but don't play around with the milkshake game. Don't, don't ever play yourself. And that's all I got to say about that. Facts. To be fair, Sean, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you right now. What? They overcooked it. Mm -hmm. They 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 definitely overcooked it. I love fat burgers, burgers. Yep. And you know when I take a bite out of any fast food chicken sandwich in the back of my mind, I'm automatically in comparison with Popeyes. I'm automatically. Yep. I need that juicy bite. I need a lot of chicken. What this does deliver is we get a decent amount of chicken, mm -hmm. a nice crisp on the pickles, a little acidity level there to help break down the buffalo sauce, which is spicy and flavorful. So you're getting the, you're getting the flavor bite. You're getting the flavor. The flavor bite is definitely in full effect. However, the chicken is dried out, family. Mm -hmm. The chicken is wild dry. It's crunchy, but that's because they, yo, they fried the <laughs> out this. <laughs> they fried the easy up out this chicken. Well, they, were, they wanted to make sure the chicken was dead, man. I don't know, y'all. This one has potential. I, I honestly believe that maybe at another location, I would have got a juicier bite of chicken. Unfortunately, my first experience with a fat burger chicken is not a good one, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go with a two showing out of five. Oh my god! Dang, fat burger, fat burger. But forty fam, since I did y'all dirt when I was at Holland Rays and I forgot to review their bone in chicken i'm definitely gonna do it here at fat burger i definitely grabbed up the lemon pepper joints you know i'm all the way committed i'm all the way with it oh boy oh boy you call it for lemon pepper you want all the flavor bite right you want all the lemon yeah you see plenty of pepper these joints right here look hella spicy and they smell extremely good let's go in for that bite let's get this little drum right here Okay. Don't look like a lot of meat, but <laughs> let's go in. as overcooked as that chicken sandwich. This right here is a tanked sink review of this particular fat burger's bone-in chicken. Now, I got a little pepper, light on the pepper. Didn't get much lemon pepper flair on that one. My chicken was dead before they killed it. That's the type of chicken I just received. The chicken was dead before they killed it. It tastes like sad chicken. I mean, what you're looking at right here is basically my Artex. Like, I'm a Treyu from the Never Ending Story. And my horse, or in this case, my chicken, is slowly sinking into the swamp of sadness. Chicken, please, for me, fight for me. Don't let the sadness take you, chicken. Artex! Look, I've never been so upset about chicken in a, in a long while, bro. And I mean a long while. This particular Fat Burger location, they dropped the ball. I dropped the ball myself by actually asking for the vegan shake. So I, I hold that L, Sean. That was me. I could have got a regular shake. I, I, I was curious and I wanted to talk about it to my foodie fam. So that I dropped the ball there. However, Fat Burger dropped the ball with that overcooked chicken sandwich and the overcooked lemon pepper wings. You dropped the ball all the way, family. And for that, I gotta give you a negative two boo-boo to fool all around. A negative two on the play. Foul on the play. That's the first time I gave Fat Burger a low score ever in the history of me doing Fat Burger reviews, Sean. The history? In the history. In all my Fat Burger reviews, I they never scored that low until the chicken. Are you saying maybe they should just abandon the chicken? No, maybe they should just abandon that location. 
Fat Burger. Just because you can doesn't mean you should.